Hi, everyone. I hope everyone's doing really well. I'm so happy you're here to join me, whether you're here recorded or live. Hi, Danny. Glad you could join me. So happy you guys are here today. I am going to try something a little different today. I just wanted to, I'm going to sketch it out. I'm going to do the same thing I always do, but I wanted to show you, you guys can also use different supplies. So the other day, Amelia used clay and I thought that was so brilliant. I loved her little turkey out of clay. And I know you guys always use a variety of art supplies. This project is great with colored paper also. So if you have a pack of colored paper or index cards or tab board, or even a brown paper bag, uh, those things are great to do cut paper collage with glue if you have some glue. Again, I'm gonna paint mine, I'm gonna draw it out as always. But if you have uh, different color construction paper, this is a cool project to do with construction paper as well. So let me, uh, warm up Woo! warm up on this beautiful autumn artwork day we're gonna make art and be happy right so today again i'm gonna go through it one more time if you want to try a different uh, medium that will be your supplies i'm gonna sketch it out so i'm gonna start with my sloppy copy yes i'm still sitting danny so i just want you to know you guys might not see me for a minute as I kind of lean back so I can sketch this out. So here's my sloppy copy. And let's start with what the big tree. So as you guys know, if you've heard me say before, the widest part of the tree is going to be the base. Okay, why is this marker not working? Oh, that's a new marker. I just got this new fancy marker. And so you know what causes the marker not to work? When you get paint on it, which you know, I'm sure I probably did. All right, let's try this one. Let's try it again with a juicy marker. Let's see if this one works better. Yes. All right, I'm using marker so you can see it on the camera. I suggest you use a pencil. So I'm going to do a vertical line. And remember, the tree is going to be the widest at its base. Down here is the roots where they would go into the ground. I got I had a big marker so it would come out bolder, but that's okay. Let's keep going. I think you could see it enough. All right. So it's gonna get a little bit thinner as you work your way up. That's just the way a tree is. Is it gets thinner as you work your way up. So do you see it's wider here and then it tapers or it gets thinner? as you work your way up. And the same thing is true with the branches. So as I curve out, it's wider at the tree and then it tapers and gets thinner towards the end. Now you could just, you know, again, add little baby branches. So it kind of looks like V's and W's at the end of your branch. So let's say I put another one here, my sloppy copy. Right. Maybe I'll put another one here. Here. So just again, keep thinking that it's wider at the base. You can have as many branches as you want. You don't have to do the same amount that I'm doing. It just depends on how large your paper is. If you're using a little baby piece of paper, a little piece of, you know, ta uh, postcard or something like that, then you're post it. What if you're drawing out a post-it? I've seen people post. I've drawn out a post-it before. Those are little baby things. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so it just depends on what size of the surface you're working on. You could do this on post-its. You could do this on, oh my gosh, I just had a great idea. This is something I used to do all the time. So if you have post-its and you drew a tree on a post-it and you move and you had a whole pack of post-its and you moved the tree over a smidge each time and then you flip the book, it would look like the tree was like if you wanted your tree to go timber, right, and fall over, you could take a little pack of post-its, 
I could try this later and sketch out the tree and then move it slightly each drawing. So each page is a different drawing. This is how they create animation and then get it to the end where the tree falls over and you would flip through it and your tree would be going timber. So that's another option. Again, it just depends on the size that you're working on. You guys know I'm working large. This is actually 12 by 18. It looks small on the screen because uh, I'm, I have my head in here. This canvas right here is 16 by 20. So I definitely say nine by 12, 11 by 14. If you print it from a computer, it's eight and a half by 11. So I would not, even to paint, um, hi you guys, even to do eight by 10 is pretty small. So I'm doing my sloppy copy right now, you guys. So I was just talking about using any medium you have. Medium is your supply. So you can sketch it out on anything. Notebook paper, sketchbook, post-it. You can use crayons, colored pencils, magic marker, paint, oil pastel. You can use self-hardening clay. You can use whatever it is that you want to. So I just started with my main tree for practice. And now I'm going to just kind of sketch out my island, okay? Now my little land patch here that goes to the stream it's it's nature it's natural so like you don't want it to be too balanced you don't want it to be too even <laughs> lola's got her puppy next to her all right this tree right here is going to be slightly leaning have you ever walked through the forest and you see trees that are falling over and you're like wow i wonder how that tree fell or oh that storm was really windy i bet you that wind knocked over that tree and sometimes they fall but they don't fall all the way to the ground they're like leaning or they get either leaning on another tree so that's what this one this one's kind of leaning over this is like my little land and here's like a little stream and a bridge so i'm going to put the other part of this little island over here so there's like a little place where little boats can go through little robo that would be cute to put a little rowboat in there and then my bridge and if you want to use a ruler you can use a ruler this is where a straight line will come in handy so my little bridge if you want to add a bridge but you don't have to this would be so you can cross the, the little river without getting wet, right? You can just walk through the woods, go across the river. You can swim across the river. Sure, do you want me to swap it out now? Let's see, let me give it a try. Um, the only, th so my easel that broke was really really sturdy and this easel is not sturdy enough for me to draw on while it's sitting on there because it's kind of wobbly so I could and this one is my tabletop easel can you can you see it for today and then I'll work on it for next time I ordered about I ordered another easel that's like freestanding that big easel turned like into a giant mouse trap that's the only way I could explain it but it I loved that. It was from Italy. It was a big, giant, sturdy wooden easel, but yeah, maybe I fell into it and it snapped and it snapped me like a mouse trap. And it was, anyway, it's seen better days and duct tape would not work. <laughs> so I had to recycle it, but I will, uh, I will, let's see. Well, anyway, let's keep, let's keep it for here for right now. Cause how did I make the land? So the land, think of it as an organic shape. So it's just a little wider here. And I came out like this, right? And it gets, it gets narrower in here. And then it kind of gets wider again as I come off to the edge like that. And then there's another little island over here. I had a bigger marker, but it doesn't want to work right now. Oh, I got it juicy. Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, this is the one I just bought, but here, I'm gonna trace over this. So here's my land. How's that? I bet you you could see that better. Ooh, nice and juicy. Okay, so this is my land.
right? And I'll go over my trees too. So the trees are widest at its base, roots going into the dirt, and then it gets thinner and tapers as you work your way up. Okay, and the same is true for the branches that are coming out of the tree. So it's wider at the base of the tree and then it splits off and it gets thinner as you go out. So wider and then thinner. And you can make them go off the page if you want to. Same thing here, the roots. So here's the roots of my tree. And then the little bridge that's going to go over the water. So you, if you're walking through the woods, you can cross the water on the bridge. That's the basics. And Danny wants to know where I get my hats. So I got my hats on Amazon. It came in like a 12 pack. So I have a variety of colors. And it's really fun too when I do parties for people and they're looking for, uh, I did a birthday party on Saturday in someone's backyard with social distancing and all the kids, she got the multi-pack and all the kids had a different color hat on. So it's fun. Be silly. I thought I'd wear orange for autumn today. So uh, all right, so that's my sloppy copy. Now, what I wanted to tell you guys was, now, again, if I had all the time in the world, I would do this entire background blue, like a pale blue, which you can do. But so many people are not using acrylic paint. And no, you do not have to make the land. You guys know you can do anything that you want to. You don't even have to have water, okay? You can just do the all woods with no land, just all trees. You can put a little house in the woods. It's your artwork. So I want you to make it your own and do what you want to do. Now, because there's so little blue in this artwork, I'm not going to paint the whole background blue. And so many people are using a variety of supplies, right? So if I paint the whole background blue and you're using crayon, that would be really hard to color the whole background blue and then go over it with autumn colors. So I'm actually going to paint all the colors and then I'll add my light blue in just little areas. Plus, I don't want you to waste your supplies. Now, another way to do this project is to use colored paper. It will come out so beautiful. And I'm going to start mixing it up a little bit uh, by trying different supplies or just giving you guys an idea of different supplies that you can use. Of course, I'm still going to paint it. I have all my paints ready, but I have a ton of paper in my house. So what if one of the things I could do is use blue paper, right? So I could use blue paper as my background. I just taped it on here so you guys could see it and I could hold it up. And then I have, um, I had like so much scrap paper because I'm kind of a hoarder. I save everything. I feel like I can use it for something. So as an example, where did I put it? Here, like this brown bag. Ooh. There goes my easel. See, that's the wobbly easel, right? That's why I like the other one so much. And you guys know I'm a bull in a china shop, so. Okay, so this brown bag. I was like, oh, I could use this for 10 different things, none of which would be carrying stuff. But that cool burlap, like, straw handle, oh, my gosh, I could use that for a craft. And this brown paper, whether it's a lunch bag or uh, a bag from the grocery store, these are awesome for crafts, right? 
So your land is big and your trees don't fit. So you can, did you draw, if you drew it in pencil, you just draw it again smaller and paint over the big part. So let's just say I really wanted my land to be smaller, right? Let's say, oh my gosh, I really want my land to go here. I don't want that line right there. So, I, and I drew mine a marker. I can just paint over that. I'm gonna cover it with paint and no one's gonna know it's under there. So draw your island smaller, Lola. And if you want, you can erase it or you can just paint over it. Now you might still see the line through it. So again, so brown paper, even wrinkled brown bag, the wrinkles in the brown bag give you the texture of like bark. So it looks really, really cool. So if you have lunch bag, you can crumple up the brown paper, even make it dimensional. So that means it's not completely flat. You could still use like a crayon rubbing on the brown paper bag, or you can leave it just the color of the brown bag. Now, again, I just wanted to give you some ideas. And I kind of started playing with this before I came on here. So let's just say you cut it out, right? And you would, I would do my island first. Did I do an island? Let me see. I can't remember. Yes, I did an island. So here's my little island. It looks kind of like a hot dog or half a corn cob. So I could glue my little island on, right? I would use glue stick if you have it or Elmer's glue. Works great too. If the paper is really thin, Elmer's glue might buckle it a little bit, you know, just like paint would. So it just depends on the weight of your paper. And again, I'm going to paint this. I just want to give you guys some ideas. So now Lola, let's just say you make your um, drawing and it's too big. You guys can use multiple supplies. You don't have to just use paint or pencil or crayon. You could combine them. So let's just say... I made a mistake, right? Oh, I made a mistake. Look at that mistake. And you have some paper. No one's going to know. You could just cover it up, right? Just cover that mistake up. So that would be my land. Now I, that's land. And then I already cut out a tree. So I would say you sketch out your tree first, right? And then you put your tree on your land so it fits. Now I put it a little higher because I wanted to cover that scribble that I probably put on there too hard. Yeah, that's okay. So again, I could just cover it up, put my tree on there, and then I can add whatever I want to with cut paper, and it comes out beautiful. You could do the, like all the, the background with the color paper and then glue your trees on, and then you could do all your leaves with like fingerprint uh, paint. Right, or you can cut paper out and use different colors of paper for leaves. What else did I cut out? I can't remember. Oh, here I did another. I did another tree too. This was my timber tree, right? So my timber tree could be glued on there too. I'll glue it on there later. But what I'm trying to do is give you guys ideas of different supplies you can use. Of course, you can paint it, which I'm about to do now. After I do my. I could try to do it on here. Let me see. I just don't know how supportive this thing is. So it might go flying, but hey, I'm a risk taker. If you guys are ready to take a risk with me, I'm ready. I know you're a patient group, so let's see what happens. Okay, let's give it a try. So again, I'm gonna go with my sloppy copy. I'm going to draw a marker just so you can see it on the screen. If you, um, you should be using pencil so you can erase it if you make a mistake. Oops, I forgot to start with my tree, but I'm going to, can you guys see my little sketch I put on there? I left the space where my tree is. And again, as you go out with your tree, it gets thinner. The base should be the widest. And if it doesn't look right, usually it's because it's too thick where it shouldn't be. So here's my, my tree that's kind of falling over.
And you can add as many trees, branches, twigs as you want to. Right? Here's my other little island over here. And then my bridge. And some branches coming off the side. I feel like all you're seeing is my head. Is my head in the way? Does that help? Can you guys see it okay? And then my little bridge, I had a little line. This is like the handrail. It's like the little, you can make as many little lines in there as you want to. That gives you a basic idea, whether it is, again, so you could do this. You can actually have blue paper as your base, right? Oh, I forgot I did this one too. So even if you have scrapbook paper, which I have a ton of scrapbooking paper too, right? You could add scrapbook paper as your background. Look at that. It came like this. I didn't paint that. It just came like that. It's just scrapbook paper. So it's a little bit, um, it's thin. It's about the same as regular paper that you print on. You could try painting on it, but it might get, you know, wavy because it's not very thick. But this would be a good background if you want to use cut paper collage, right? And again, if you want to, if you did a cut paper collage and then you use your fingerprints as different colored leaves, that would look really pretty. And we could still do the fingerprints later if you wanted to. All right, do you guys like it up close like that? I, I want it to be as easy for, as possible for you guys. So if that's okay, you're just not gonna see this as much. But again, it's totally up to you. Now, with how I see it, because I can do it anyway. I just don't want this thing to go flying over. So what, what I'm gonna do with this one, again, and if you're coloring with crayon, you can follow along with me. I'm gonna do, again, light to dark. So I'm gonna start in the background. And this one, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna use blue to start with. What I'm gonna do is I am gonna start with yellow, right? So I know I'm gonna tap, tap, tap. I'm using a round paintbrush. I have a little bit of yellow on my brush. And I can actually tap right through my branches, right? And it's okay if you get inside your bark a little bit because it's a dark color, it'll cover it up. So I'm just gonna tap, tap, tap some yellow. It's not gonna be perfectly even because they're leaves. So I'm just tap, 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 tap. And I can go all the way over here. So this part over here later, I can make blue if I want to. Tap, 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 tap. Nice, pretty, bright yellow. Okay, and I'm not even gonna wash off my brush. I'm just gonna tap the orange now. And I'm gonna tap it in there. Now what I don't want, I don't want it to look like a rainbow. So I have to mix some yellow. So I'm gonna overlap it into the yellow so it doesn't look like a rainbow. Although rainbows are awesome, right? Who doesn't love a beautiful rainbow? How about a double rainbow? Have you ever seen a double rainbow? Hmm, pretty, right? So of course, the pressure that you're putting on your brush, the size of your brush is gonna vary the look of it, right? So if I use the tip of my brush, let's try a little more yellow so you can see it. Look at, look at my little yellow dots, that's just the tip, okay? So I just put a little bit more yellow in there to break it up. Because again, I don't want it to look like a rainbow. I want it to look like leaves. And if it gets too thick in any area, you can go back over and just bring the paint to another section. So I had a big blob of yellow there. Probably can't see it on the screen, but I'm just gonna move it over here. Okay, now I'm gonna not wash off my brush, just dip it in the orange a little bit more. So I used almost every color in this artwork, but no purple. So if you love purple, go ahead and add purple. 
I did not have purple in this artwork. So again, you can make some of the areas leave open and that will where, be where the blue sky would poke through. Or you can fill the whole thing up with leaves. Totally up to you. So I'm gonna dip a little bit now in the yellow again. I wanna put a little bit more yellow up there. And at any point you can add red if you want to. I haven't done my red yet. So yellow to orange. And look, I went right over my branch. Well, it doesn't matter because I could still see the line. But even if you can't see the line, now you just have the basic idea of where it's going to go. So it's okay because the branch and the tree are going to be so dark. It's going to cover that light color paint. So it's okay if I go inside the line. It's okay if I accidentally cover something. Add a little bit more orange in here. I'm only going to use a little bit of red after I get all that nice. So right now, yellow, orange, and I'll put a little bit of red on my brush. These are warm colors. Nice warm colors. It's been warm here the last couple days. It's so nice. It's like Indian summer. And again, you don't have to leave the blue showing through. You can do the fill the whole thing in. And you know what? Maybe you fill the whole thing in and then decide to add the blue later. Or you can leave the canvas white or the area white and think about it and just color it in later with whatever you're using if you want to. Again, that would be up to you. I'm going to make this come down a little bit more. I just scooped up a little bit more yellow. Just as long as it doesn't look like a pattern or a rainbow, you know, you want to kind of blend it together. So if there's anywhere where there's a really strong line, pat over it, pat, 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 pat over it. And again, I could leave that so I can paint it in blue later. I could color it in, doesn't matter. And again, I went in the line here, but so what? It's okay. It's a mistake, really, but it doesn't matter. And then I'm just going to do the other side of my tree. Tap, 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 tap. And you don't even have to do brown. You could do black if you wanted to. Something darker, right? Now, if you're working on canvas and you see those little white speckles that gives it that texture, you can paint over it. Just add a little bit more paint and it'll cover it. Some people like that texture look to it, so uh, they leave it, but I like to cover mine up. So again, wherever that's showing, I'm just adding a little bit more paint. Add a little bit more paint. And if you like a softer look, let's just say you don't like, you know, it to be so bold, like my yellow is very bold and bright. What would I do if it, to soften it up? Scoop up some white paint 
And so white paint on your color would soften it up, almost give it a pastel look. So if you, again, if you want to soften your color, put a little bit of white. I didn't even mix it on the can, uh, on the plate. I just mixed it right on my canvas. So obviously this one went farther down than my sample. See, here's my sample with my little bridge. So I painted through my bridge on this one, which is going to look, once I add my lines back into it, it'll look like the leaves are behind it. So that would be up to you. If you stop right above the bridge, I'm going to just put a little bit of orange on my brush. See how it, you don't want it to be exact. You don't want to see exactly where I added it, which you can right now. So I have to mix it together. Tap, 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 tap. So that looks like a yellow orange where you mix orange and yellow together. You get yellow orange, which is like the color of macaroni and cheese, right? So hopefully it's not making you hungry. And again, anytime you can always go back into any area to fix it up. If there's something you want to change. So my tree that's falling. So on my tree, this is my falling down tree. So that's where I started adding more green. So again, at any point, I didn't wash off my brush. I just put green on it. If you mix green and orange together, you're going to get a brown. But most of my paint is off of my brush. So I scooped up the green. Now that's a pretty raw, bold green, right? Like right out of the bottle. Of course, you can make green. You know how to make green? Yes, yellow and blue. So you would use more yellow, less blue, because yellow is the lighter than blue. And I'm just putting some yellow on there just to soften up that green. If you want more like an olive green, you could put a little bit of brown in there. And again, my branches I'm going to go over. So if you lose your line, you can add it again later. I can overlap my green into my yellow. Put a few in here. You can use the tip. Add some dots. Does that help you guys? Can you see it okay? Like here, that's too, too straight. Then I got that floating green one right there. See, I, I just got to keep tapping it until I like it. Maybe I go back with some yellow. Go put some yellow on top of that, soften it up. So that's that green right out of the bottle. Again, I'd rather you make your own green. It'll be a prettier color. But if you use the green right out of the bottle, maybe mix a little yellow in it, maybe mix a little brown in it. Because you're going to get a better color. It's okay to use it. Look, I'm using it. But again, you'll get a, a cool green. Again, just overlap right over that bridge down to the land. 
I added a little bit of yellow. Soften it up a little bit. I didn't add any brown to my green because I like the bright look of it. And you know I'm going to add brown to my trees and my land. So I don't want it to get too dark. put a few more little speckles of the green over here. You can even add green to the other trees. I mean, you don't have to not have any green in there. You can put a little bit over there. I could do this all day. Tap, 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 tap. It's very relaxing. So don't worry about rushing, okay? Because you do not have to be done when I'm done. You can work on this all week. You can work on it later. You can work on it whenever you want to. It doesn't have to be done right now. It's just um, fun and relaxing. So just go slow. And sometimes when you take a break and walk away from it, and then you come back, you'll be like, oh, I need to put a little yellow over here. Like it's hard to see it when you're sitting with it for so long and then Again, if you take a little break, sometimes it really helps. That's why I always say, go back to any of your artworks to, you know, add to it, to change it up a little bit. I mean, could I could I add a little turkey on my island? Yes. I could put a little turkey here. I could put a little guy sitting there on the shore fishing. I could put a rowboat in my, I have so much space here. I could put a little rowboat in there. So your, your artwork can, always change. You can always add to it. You know what else you could do? You could make part of it a collage, right? So maybe you have a photo of yourself, a photo of you and your family, right? Maybe you cut out your family picture and put it in a rowboat and you guys are, you know, you're in the boat here. Or maybe you're, again, you cut, you do the little stick figures and then you cut your heads out and put your heads on the island. Okay. So it could be a silly artwork. So what I want you to do, again, is think one. You can always change it, add to it, make it different. And two, you don't have to be done when I'm done. And Danny wants to come on the screen. So go ahead. I'm going to give you guys the link if you want to come on, but I have a lot more to do, so you don't have to come on now. I know Danny likes to come on a little early. So let me see. I got this right. I tried to plan ahead today. Let's see if it works. Can you see the link? Oh, there you go. Okay, so it's so funny. I have to go into my uh, other Facebook account on my phone and 
post it there. So that's the way I think it works the best instead of trying to fiddle with it on the computer. So there, it finally worked. Uh, so there you guys go if you want to come on screen, but you can also wait and come on later. Because this is this this might take me because I was talking about cut paper and stuff. We might go a little bit longer than an hour. Hi, Danny. Hello. How are you? Doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. Let's see what you got today. Ooh, that's pretty. That's my finished landscape. I like it. Thank let you. It, let it dry and you can add some colored leaves okay. to it. Thank you, Denise. Bye. Hey, Lola. Oh. I'm in the garage. Like, some people. Oh, so pretty. That looks really nice. Take your time. Me? That looked really good. Take your time. Again, you guys do not have to be done. I'm going to keep going here. Keep, 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 keep going. Oh, let's see if Lola can come back. I didn't think she lost her connection. I think you had a bad connection, Lola. Can you see us? Hmm, that's okay. She's she, Her connection's not so great today. All right, so let's see. Well, what I would do next, again, because I have the green on my brush, I could um, add some green to the water. Reagan's here. Let's say hi to Reagan. Hey, Reagan. Hi. Perfect. So see how Reagan had painted all the background blue? That was one way I said you could start. And I love that texture of your leaves. That looks really cool. Thank you. So and it's, hers is going to take a little bit longer to dry because it's thick. It's got that cool texture to it. But Reagan started with the blue background, which is a way you can do it. And um, I love it. So come back on in a little bit, Reagan. Okay, bye. So see how many different ways there are you can do that? Again, if we were all using acrylic paint, I would have done it like uh, Reagan's doing it, where I would have painted my entire background blue and then layered over it. But so many people are not using acrylic paint. So that's why I want to give you the option of going back into it later with some blue. I'm going to sit back down so you guys can see. All right. So now what I would do, again, just because I have the color on my brush, I would go into my water, right, and start doing my reflection. So I, I'm going to switch the brush stroke. I'm not going to use tap, tap, tap. I'm going to use horizontal brush strokes, okay? So here's some horizontal brush strokes. So obviously the green is going to be reflected in the water under where the green is. But I, all I did was scoop up some white on my brush, which had a bunch of paint on it already, Right, and I'm now I'm using horizontal brush strokes with some white, and this is where the water would be. Okay, so that's where the water would be reflecting the colors of the leaves, and I can add the blue later. So let's see. Hey, hi. Oh, she froze again. Yeah, I think she's she's having trouble with her connection in there. I'm glad she has help. I need a standby assistant to help me when I'm having technical issues, which is a lot. <laughs> right? You guys know me. Me and technology. All right. So 
again, now I'm just putting some green in my water. I haven't even added the blue yet. And then, you know, you can go, just think the water should be a little bit lighter. So horizontal brush strokes, they could be wispy and short. So the color that is reflecting whatever is above it. So I'm going to start going, right? So with the yellows over here. So I'm going to do some wispy horizontal brush strokes over here. And, you know, if you want it to be softer and not so bold, just put a little bit of white in there. And then I'm going to go into the orange a little bit, but that orange is so bold. I definitely want to soften it up with some white. So I just scooped up some orange and some white on my brush. Horizontal brush strokes. And you guys saw Danny's. So Danny did the land. I think Danny's would look super cool with some fingerprint colors of leaves that you could just do bright colors, maybe some yellows and some greens on there. Or even if you had construction paper or index cards, you could rip the leaves with little pieces of rip paper and glue them on there. And that would give it a really cool texture and a different look. Put a little bit more white in there to soften it up a little. Horizontal brush strokes. So look, I just got a big blob in my little island, but it doesn't matter because my island's going to be dark. I'm just kind of putting them randomly because I want to add my color of my water, which I'll do next. All right, so get, again, you can wash off your brush. I'm going to use some light blue. Start pretty pale, pretty light. And you can add your light blue in here, wherever you, if you left a space anywhere. So I'm gonna even make it lighter than that. I just scooped up a little bit more white. Now, what I, before I was telling you guys, see where I have that opening right there? All I have to do is take a little bit of paint, and if I want to make it look like the blue sky is poking through, I can just add it over it. Now, if you're using watercolor paint, this won't work because watercolor paint is transparent, but this works beautifully with acrylic paint. That's why I like acrylic so much. But definitely make sure it's dry so I know that that is where I started. I know it's dry. So if you want to go back into it, and add on top of the color, or I can add it in a different area.
And, you know, again, if right now, if it's too strong of a line, I can go back into it when it's dry and put some more leaf colors on top of it. Hey, Lola. Did you have a bad connection? It's so funny. I can, so when she's down, when you are down below in the green room waiting, you have, a, I can see you, you're a great connection. Then as soon as you come on the screen, you freeze. But it's okay because look, we all have these technology challenges. I'm probably the first one, but I think we're all kind of learning about this technology together. I think we better we're better at it than we were a few months ago. Again, my my water, I want it to be horizontal brush strokes. I can make my water go right into my reflection. And maybe I want to put, again, some in here. And I could just overlap it right into my reflection. Let's see if Lola's good now. Lola! What's the problem? I can't get in. The microphone. What's the problem? I can't get in. I can't get in. I can't get in. I can't get in. Hey Lola, <laughs> I think your screen, you're um, getting a bad connection oh. in here. And okay. I can just overlap it right into my reflection. So this is mine. Let's see if Lola's good now. Lola! <laughs> What's the problem? I can't get it. That looks really good, Lola. Just Lola, just so you know, I think your your um your internet is not connecting as well today for whatever reason. You guys, there's so many things that affect the internet, right? So too many devices, the weather, everyone being on it at the same time. Oh my gosh, how many different things can affect the internet? So I'm gonna go back to my water here. And again, all this, so look, see this, I, I was doing the reflection, but I could just go back in and put some blue in there to break up all the color just so that you can tell it's water. So I'm just going on top of that color, putting horizontal brush strokes to make it look like water. Now you can make your water all colorful, right? Put as much blue in as you want. And then I'm going to start going into the dark colors. But I wanted to get all my light colors in first. Horizontal brush strokes in the water. This one to me is more pastel more Monet looking, you know how Monet did his, oh, you could put lily pads in there. Lily pads would be pretty. Hi girls. Hey. Hello. What's going on? Um, so, so I have my painting. Ghost. Ghost. I don't know. Ghost. 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 That looks great. Yep. I love your branches. Thank you. <laughs> I thought uh, some 
I thought it was stuff about the Echo, so I was like, yep. And then I like, yeah. And this is mine. Ooh, you got fire quick. I use pastels because those two ways you clean out the paint. No, it, I love the pastels. I love the texture in the tree. Yeah. How did you do that? The bark. Yeah. I just went to like circular motions with the pastel and then I just smeared it all with oil. It looks really cool. And I'm planning on putting a girl in a kayak and a, another girl like yay. Watching. And I, I love that you guys tried new supplies. <laughs> Thank you. And they look awesome. Thank you. That uh, watch out for that paintbrush up your face. <laughs> that that looks like an accident waiting to happen. Bye, girl. Thank you. Wait, let me see if I can do it. I got look at. I got my hands full. Hold on. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thanks, Irina. Bye, Denise. Hi, Benjamin. Hi. Hey, Benjamin, do you like astronauts? I see an astronaut shirt. I like your shirt. It's cool. I'm lowering my voice down, but it's still a gecko. Hmm. I like your shirt. Did you do your painting today? Be, don't get that cool shirt dirty. That looks great. I love it. Good job. When I'm still hearing a gecko when my voice is down. Okay, so it's the vo it, there's a volume on Facebook and just tell your parents to use the yeah, if there's a volume on Facebook and if you're in the Chrome browser like as your browser, if you use Chrome, that's the best platform for this. Those are usually the two Facebook volume can be turned down and then it worked. Yeah. So whenever you come on, turn the Facebook volume down and use Chrome, okay? Thank you. Here's my Facebook. Hi, Benjamin. <laughs> Stage fright. Benjamin's been on several times now. Now Benjamin's a regular, right, Benjamin? Lola, I think you're having a bad internet connection today. Um, I think, I don't know why, but I think for whatever reason, you keep freezing. So you're going to have to send me pictures. I think you were in a different room, too. So maybe the room that you were in. You know, you're having a bad internet connection in that room. See this one, I guess that, you know, I think sometimes when I paint, it reflects my mood. So this one to me is so much like softer it, and it, again, looks more like a Monet painting, more relaxing. I'm not sure I like that blue. In there but I'll wait till later okay so you guys I'm gonna get into the dark colors now and let me put a little bit more blue right there because you know once I start with the dark colors I end up smearing them so again I could just break up that just so it looks like water and put some horizontal brush strokes in that color to make it look more like water maybe even just some really really light blue like so you could just tell it's a reflection Okay, and now I'm going to do my tree. So I'm going to do my tree brown. I love Bella's texture. Bella had that awesome texture on her tree. She was using oil pastel, and probably because it was pretty thick on there, she was able to give it a Good looking texture. And you know, you could always try the same artwork using different supplies. So maybe you do the same artwork later with construction paper. 
maybe you, if you have oil pastels, you try oil pastels. The thing that gets me about oil pastels is it gets under my fingernails because I like, I'm, you guys know I'm messy. So I press so hard and then that thick oil pastel gets under my nails. But again, it's, I love the way it looks. And if you've ever tried oil pastel on colored paper, it's beautiful. So if you have oil pastels, try it on a, like a blue paper. No one says you have to stick to one type of supply. I could even add oil pastels on top of my painting. So I just used straight brown. I didn't add any white to it. I didn't add any black to it. So look at how flat it is. So everything in the rest of my artwork has different values, different shades, different colors mixed together. And my brown is just flat brown. So it doesn't to me fit, it looks almost cartoony. So I'm gonna have to change that once I get it all filled in. And I'll show you how I'll do that. Did you notice as my paint started to dry, my lines came through more? Because as paint dries, it lightens up a little bit. So like right here, there's a little dent. Let's smooth that out. So do you see how the top looks thicker? The top here looks thicker than here. So what I'm going to do to make it look better is just widen this part out. Okay, now I can put a little bit of white on my brush and blend it in here, vertical lines, so it's not so flat looking. So I'm just painting some vertical, 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 vertical. I could do it on the branches, give it a little dimension by giving it a little highlight. You get the idea. I'm going to do the other one. So watch my brown. And this would not work with watercolor. But with acrylic, I can just cover right over my other paint color. Because watercolor is transparent. That means you could see through it. That wouldn't work. You would still see everything through the, no matter how dark of a color you used. And you can have some branches come off from the side. They could overlap. Now my, um, let's see what I want to do next. I, I'm not really liking those branches, but what am I going to do to fix them? In a little bit, I'm going to let it dry and then I'm going to put some leaves over it. Do you guys like the painting being this close to you? Yeah, make a sun. That's a great idea. Oh my gosh, add a sun wherever you can. So like this, I'm not liking that too much. And I don't like my branches over there. Am I going to throw it on the ground and start over? No, I'm going to cover them with more leaves. But I'm going to finish my land. So my land, you can do orange, you can do brown, you can make it black. I'm going to do mine a little bit black. Add 
and brown together. Just as long as you can see it's different than the tree color. You want to have contrast. You want it to be different than your tree color. I love the idea of a kayak. I love the idea of fish, lily pads, paddleboard. Make sure you blend it together so you don't see exactly where one color starts and one color ends. My water is so pretty. I love the like soft look of it, but I am gonna put, I'm gonna put a little bit of white on my brush because I do want a little bit of that tree reflected there. So let's see. So I'm gonna do it. Just a little bit. I just, I do like the colors of my water. You don't have to. That's like the reflection of the tree. And the reflection of the other tree. You could put the reflection of the island in there. Oh, I forgot my little baby island over there. Again, you can put the reflection of that island. Now, again, if you if there's something that you don't like, or even just to add more depth to it, so I would go back into it, and it doesn't have to be right now, it could be later. See this? Again, to make it look like there's leaves on top of my branches, I would tap, 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 tap. 
tip, tip, tip. So I'm adding leaves over. And I didn't really like that blue splotch there. So I'm going to put some leaves over that too. Splot, tap, tip, 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 tap, tap, tap. You see that? So it's giving it more dimension because now the leaves look like they're going on top of the branches. So they're behind the branches and on top of the branches. Tap, 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 tap. Now my brown's a little wet, so it got into the leaves, but I think it looks cool. I didn't realize my brown was still wet, but so that's a mistake, but it's okay. No one knows but me and you. Maybe I put a little bit more orange in there. Again, as long as you blend it in there. So I'm just really softening the branches because you know they're there. So now you can see the difference of the layering. Too, too strong. Tap, 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 tap. And this is where little fingerprints would be cute. So just a little bit, a little dabble, do ya? Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. Or you can tap, 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 tap. Hear it? I'm playing, I'm making music. Ooh-wee. Just don't over tap it, right? And again, you can add layers all over it. So tap, 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 tap. Oh, my branch disappeared. Well, I'm just going to thin out that paint, right? Thin it out, spread it around. It'll come back. And I can always, if it doesn't come back and you lose it, you can just wait for it to dry and add a little bit more brown to it. Don't be afraid. Just if you do something and you don't like it anymore, just wait for it to dry and paint over it. So I'm going to keep working on my landscape. You guys, again, keep going, keep doing it. Keep adding branches, be creative, think outside the box, be happy and make art. Yeah. I'm gonna paint one more minute and then I'm gonna go, cause this is fun. But you get the idea. I just wanted to get you guys going, get you started. You guys inspire me, come up with awesome ideas. Oh, I forgot to paint my bridge. How come no one said, hey, you forgot to paint your bridge? All right, because I was so focused on the leaves. I'm using black. I told you guys I didn't have any purple in this, but, oh, a purple bridge would be really pretty too. Right? Like a cool purple bridge. Oh, Reagan's back. Good. Give me a second, Reagan. Let me finish my bridge. It's really hard to paint straight lines. So I'm a little bit better at it when it's flat on a table. Here's my bridge. And again, I could add highlights to it. My little thing over here looks funny. All right, let's see what Reagan has. Hey, Reagan. Ooh. So Reagan left a space where her trees are going to go. So she painted all the greenery of the leaves and left that area where the brown's going to go. That looks really cool. I can't wait to see the finished part. Thank you. We'll send you Take your time. I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. You get, so you guys, the whole point of this is take your time. You don't have to be done when I'm done. Okay. And again, look at how dark that is. Look at this one. This is darker than this one just because I used softer colors in this painting. I used a lot more white to make it look softer. Okay. But I, I don't have to. So that would be, again, I could add, instead of making the bridge black, 
just if I wanted to soften it up a little bit, all I would have to do is put some white in there, maybe make it gray. See the difference? So it kind of fits more with the rest of the painting since I must have been in a pastel mood today. Did you see that? So I just put a little bit of white in there to soften up that harshness of the black. Now, if the rest of your painting is pretty dark, that black's going to look great like this one, right? Because this painting is much darker. This one's much darker than this one. That looks a little better. Let me mix that in a little bit better. My little island. And you guys could always also Add some little orange for the leaves, like falling off the tree. You could put some leaves on the ground here too. Anywhere, anywhere. You know, there could be leaves over here. You could have little leaves on your island over here. And then maybe some green ones, and then I'm done. Oh yeah, maybe you put little green leaves over here. And again, that's that raw green that I didn't mix anything in. I think I like to soften it up with a little yellow. Maybe you put a little green in your water. And voila. Again, do whatever else you wanna to do to your bridge or your artwork. You guys have a super day. Thank you so much for watching and creating with me. And I'll see you guys again soon. Be happy. Make art.